Hello guys, welcome back to my table. So today I have another UV LED lamp to show you guys. This one is slightly different. I've actually never seen a armrest that has built-in lights. So this is very interesting. I have tested this out on a client. We did a full set of nails and that is the one that I posted yesterday over on my Instagram. So if you have seen that picture, that is what I cured her nails with, was, or that's, that's the design I used to with this lamp here we had no problems with anything curing at all this is preset for 60 seconds everything cured all the way through um so i am going to uh show you guys a little bit about this lamp i think it's pretty cool i think it's pretty neat for um nail techs like myself that travel so that need to carry a lot of equipment with them um, however need everything small and compact this is really cool um, if you are a DIYer at home this lamp is also very affordable so you could purchase this if you cannot make the investment in a larger more high quality lamp so um, yeah this is the box that it arrived in it was boxed in another one so this looks like it's been through a war it's pretty um banged up here here are the specs over here on the side so it is a 48 watt lamp it has an automatic 60 second cure time there are 50,000 hours of power and it is compatible with most gel polishes. So over here on this side, you can see that we have a double light source that cures between 365 to 410 nanometers, I believe is how you say it. So you should be able to cure most of your UVs, um, your builders and all of that. And I did not have any issues curing mine. So I'm going to show you how to set this up and then um, do some cure tests with you. So here is the lamp itself. So this does remove so that you can easily sanitize and clean everything in between your clients. So it does just very um, snugly fit in there. This is a type C charger. We have an on and off switch. Beneath we have the expanding legs. They honestly don't feel that durable, but um, for manicures, and I think it's going to be just fine. If you were to use this for pedicures and people rest their feet on here with all that pressure, I'm not sure these would hold up. But we have 30 LED bulbs here. So yesterday when I was working on my client, I had this set up and it was I had the button towards her actually so the cord wasn't going all the way across my table um, she rests her elbow on here so I had plenty of room um, to work with uh, I could move her arm however I needed and when she was ready to cure she just pushed the button like so and put her hand underneath but in order for me to make sure that no light was going to cure any of my open bottles I just laid a towel over it covering the back part so that none of the lights would um, penetrate my bottles back here while I'm working so that is because it is open on both sides as you can see so you give yourself a little um, barrier here you won't carry your bottles as you're working so as I said it does have a 60 second automatic time it does not have any sensors so it's not going to come on and off as you put your hand in you will have to manually push the button every time but you will there it goes so you 60 seconds is all you need okay so we are going to be testing light elegance their builder base a pink a white and a rubber base as well as a color 
So as one would normally do when doing nails, I'm going to apply my color down in one thin layer. And then I will go in and add that slip or that's your slip layer. So I'm going to go in and build the nail up. So we have a pretty thick application here. I will be doing that with the pink as well. So here we have our pink and our white Jimmy Gels. Now we're going to apply the rubber base beside these. And my technique is pretty much the same with a rubber base. I'm going to just apply a thin coat. And then with the rubber base, I would build up the nail just a tad. And then as for our color, I chose a pretty dark color from Madam Glam. We're going to apply that down as if it was a fingernail. Your first coat should be slightly thin. And we are going to stick this under our lamp for 60 seconds. And we'll see how well they cure. So our timer has gone off. We are going to remove the inhibition layer. However, we will not remove the inhibition layer on the gray. We're going to put a second coat on there. This has come right off. And when I smush it, we do not have any product seeping. Oh, sorry, we don't have any product seeping, so that means we did get a full cure. Now let's bend this one. If it cracks um, and has some seeping, some product seeping, then we did not get a full cure. It looks like we have a full cure here. As for our rubber base. That may not want to come off. Does not want to come off. But we do, however, have a very full cure. We're not getting any, any soft spots. And same with this. Oh, I think this is a great product, especially for a traveling nail technician like myself. Um, any DIYer at home, you're going to get a nice cure with all of your products. You do want to make sure that you're always applying everything pretty thin at first and building your layers up. You want to make sure that you're curing everything all the way through so that you're not going to cause any allergic reactions. Um, so yeah, I think this is a great buy for $36. I will have everything linked down in the description box down below. And um, if they reach out and give me a discount code, I will let you guys know. And that will also be down in the description box. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.